Welcome, and today we're in Paisley in Scotland to have a look at Paisley Abbey, or what remains of it, which does look quite substantial. And it's right in the city centre, right beside the River Wild Car, and just over the road from the shopping centres. And here we see the cloister as we go into the entrance along the side of the abbey. It's always set for visitors, this is a very popular place for visitors to come to and so there's a lot of information boards everywhere including as you get in the entrance here. And it's fascinating to see the runs of the cloister on the right hand side but a lot of buildings have gone from what surrounded it originally and is obviously there all the modern facilities such as electronic doors and there's the shop and obviously the way into the main church and here we have more information boards on the left as we head along towards the 10th century Barocan cross from Strathclyde one of the a number of Strathclyde crosses which we have covered or, co or are going to cover in various visits and again there's lots of information on it for you to peruse while you're there As we go along the bottom of the nave and look up towards the choir, you will notice uh, there's six arcades with a first floor triforium and a second floor celestry from the 15th and 13th, 14th centuries. And again, information boards around. Unfortunately, we can't get access to the upstairs. But we'll still see some a marvellous stained glass as we look along the arcades and information. And there's some interesting bosses in their, their church's roof along the arcades. And notices of the roof around the church, there's some considerable changes, obviously, with their, the further uh, improvements through the years. Again, we see the Triforium and Celestry. Very impressive as we look up towards the choir. And here we are in the little transept. This is uh, a war memorial, as we can see by the flags of the various Scottish regiments. And there uh, we look towards St. Mary's Chapel. And some dedications to some air, uh, uh, forgotten air uh, for some remembrance of war heroes. And there's an interesting baptistry. And here we are, looking up towards the choir, and the choir stalls either side. Absolutely marvellous stained glass window. Uh, gorgeous communion table. <coughs> this was made in the 1920s. And there's a Dilla and Pazina. And the marvellous stained glass. And the 1920 ceiling. And so left hand side, we will see a little museum. <coughs> this is the Zachary Museum. And inside, a little small, so some Indian artifacts and a lot more information on the actual complex itself. And there we are, back in the church. And here we are once again looking at both transepts.
And this is St. Mary's Chapel. Like a saint who shrine trapped many pilgrims to Paisley. And this one enough is that the toilets, I had to put this in because when I went to the toilet I didn't realise that I thought it might be a modern extension. It's actually built into the air, into the church itself. And they have a little cafe restaurant which seems to be a bit quiet at the minute. And there, uh, obviously you've got to have the souvenir gift shop <clears throat> to uh, maintain the fundings for keeping the abbey uh, going I suppose. And here we are, back at the cloister and the entrance way. A nice picture of the cloister out there. All towards looking at the Paisley City Centre. And back through the electric, electric gates. Nice place to come and visit. Obviously you couldn't go into too much detail, it would get really long. But the city centre's right there, shopping centres and everything, well worth a visit. So if you like this, please like, subscribe and keep continuing to watch. Bye for now.